Clink. Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, just wanted to do an update vlog. There's been a lot of stuff going on recently. Um, the next major balance patch of my life is actively being implemented. And I just woke up feeling really good this morning. I, I woke up feeling really positive and proud of myself. And I went to sleep feeling positive and proud. And, and the reason for that is just that reconnecting with you guys has been massive. It has been something that has been truly missing from my life. And doing the live stream yesterday was... Uh, yeah, it was like food to a starving man. It was it was something that I hadn't even realized how much I needed it until I did it. And I just woke up and I was just like, yeah, I haven't felt this stoked on areas of my life outside of writing for years. And it's just, it really just helps drive home the point that this is just something that I need to do. You know, this is something that I opened myself up to seven years now ago and and live streaming is just a part of my life and, and video creation is just a part of my life and you guys are a part of my life and that's just not something that I can cut off <laughs> you know um so it it feels really good to be back and making content again and just working on projects and and live streaming and I'm, I'm really excited and thank you all so much everybody who stopped by the stream um Constantine and Didi and Steph, especially. Thank you guys for uh, making a point of chatting with me. It was definitely a slower stream, but, you know, that's exactly what I expected. I was honestly worried that nobody would stop by, and definitely some folks did. And there was more people there than just you three, but thank you three in particular for hanging out and chatting with me. It was, it was a lot of fun to reconnect with you guys and to just hear what you've been going through and, and all that stuff. And just the game itself was a lot of fun, you know, approaching Bloodborne in a new way that I've never done be before uh, at Blood Level 4 is actually uh, really cool. It's an interesting challenge, and I look forward to seeing how it goes. So uh, my tentative goal for right now is going to be shooting for, like, one stream per weekend. Uh, I'm going to be shooting for Saturdays. Same time, same place, 5 to 7 p.m. on Saturdays. Um, but as this is a relatively new thing, and I don't want to start neglecting other aspects of my social life, I don't want to hard commit to that. But we'll shoot for 5 to 7 on Saturdays. And if things need to change, you know, let's say I've got a, a birthday I need to attend, a family event or something on a Saturday, I'll just do a little update vlog being like, I think we're going to do it on Friday this week, or maybe we'll need to shift it over to Sunday that week or something. But Saturdays 5 to 7 is going to be kind of our go-to time for the time being. And I, I'm just thinking of the Saturday live stream as just Souls Born Saturday. So we're going to start with Bloodborne, and then uh, I'm, I'm going to try and look into getting a PS5, maybe get myself a little treat. You know, PS5 has been out long enough now that you don't need to drop like a grand to get one. You can get one pretty reasonably, I'm sure. And we can uh, pick up Demon Souls. We could do a Demon Souls playthrough together. We could do... I, I've been wanting to revisit Sekiro for years now. Um, Sekiro would be super fun. And obviously we could play through all the old Dark Souls games again and and kind of anything from stuff for Elden Ring, of course. It would be super fun to do a playthrough of Elden Ring with you guys. Um, so we've got lots of fun content to look forward to, to just kind of hang out with each other. And, uh, I may have some stuff brewing on the back burner in terms of video creation, but I'm going to keep that under my hat until at least one big project is complete. Cause I want to make sure that I can pull it off before I start hyping it. Um, so with that being said, you know, there's also some writing updates that I wanted to give you guys and they're kind of bittersweet updates and it's it's nothing like I'm quitting or anything like that if anything I'm just as dedicated to the process if not more than ever um but what how do I say this in as reasonably few words as possible basically I tried to cut the book into thirds this is something that I've talked about in recent vlogs I wrote an original manuscript um and that was like 150,000 words and then 
by the end of the second draft. And then during the third draft, I realized how much it was continuing to grow. And if I continued to add to it in the way that I'd been adding to it, I was going to end up with a book that was too long. So I started playing with the idea of cutting the book into several books. And I tried to do thirds at first. And, um, well, I don't regret trying to do thirds because that decision led to some revisions that have been really good and are going to help tie the whole project together once it's actually done. Um, after reviewing those, that planned ending, that ending at, you know, the, the, the first third of the book uh, with Jason and uh, my, my sort of editor slash coach, um, who knows a lot about the industry, a lot more than I do, especially, uh, you know, it's just, it's just not a realistic place to end the book. You know, it's, it's a good climactic crescendo that was created, but it's not an act three ending, right? There, there's not enough resolution there. It depends too much on there being a sequel. And that's not what you want when you're starting off a, uh, a book series, you, you definitely want book one to be as self-contained as it can be. Uh, you know, you want to, you want your readers to want book two, you want them to want it to turn into a series, but you don't want it to need to turn into a series for the book to make sense, um, or to feel complete. And that's what I had. I had a, a lot, probably more than a dozen big open-ended questions that just weren't wrapped up or addressed, and even a couple of small ones that had just kind of slipped under the radar with me, um, which probably shouldn't have, but um, so things are still improving, and the parts that we have worked on, including this ending that I thought was going to be the end, is still, it's really good. It's 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 fun to read. The pros are strong and well-polished. Uh, we, we haven't gone over and grammatically fine-tuned everything throughout that entire section, but we've done most of it. Um, and the revision involved is mostly just getting involved adding some some cool scenes moving forward. But anyways, we, you know, we've talked it through very thoroughly. We've analyzed the thing very thoroughly. And we've got a good point in the original manuscript that's actually going to be the point where it does still cut. So it's going to be two books instead of three. And it's going to be cut more in the middle of the original manuscript rather than at that third point. Um and just with how things are getting stretched out and, and how I instinctively can kind of tell at this point after, after this much writing and with the outlining that I've done so far, um, there's still a lot to go. There, there is a lot to go. And the only reason that is kind of a bummer to me is just because I was so ready to share a complete book with you guys. You know, I was really hoping for an end of the year release, uh, or at least like a soft release where I could, you know, print out something, you know, at least the, the completed draft three and share it with you and, and show you what I've been doing. Cause it's hard to work on something that you're so passionate about and put literally, you know, probably around 2000 hours into it by this point, give or take, and to have to continue to keep it under your hat. And with that being said, if anybody, anybody watching this, especially if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, if you're a friend that knows me IRL or family, anybody, I'm just starting to open the doors and be like, hey, if you want to come in and read what's done so far, there are sections that I can share with you and they are good. They are polished. I think they feel, you know, like you just picked up, picked up a book off the shelf. You know, they feel really good. Uh, just the entire book isn't finished yet, but I'd say the first half, the first quarter is finished. Um, there'll probably be some small additions to that. The second quarter is really well polished, but there's going to be a good amount of stuff added to it. And it's going to get a lot more exciting and, and cool. And then the, the second half or the second, the third and fourth quarter, I'll stick with the same <laughs> math, the, the third and fourth quarter, um, you know, they're pretty much just outlined, uh, as the second draft is kind of an outline. So there's a lot to go, but if you want to be a beta reader for my content, um, all are welcome. I don't know how many people are going to be interested. I don't know how many people are going to see this message, but I'm going to keep that door open moving forward for, you know, people that I trust and we can get a place on the discord set aside for discussion. And, and I would just be so happy to share what I've got with you guys 
and uh, and see what you think and bounce some questions off of you. And hopefully, you know, if there is one of you, hopefully there's more than one of you so you can, you know, chat with each other about it. And I, I would love to be able to watch people have a conversation about my writing and be able to like review that. So um, if if you do join the Beta Readers group, it would be super helpful to me if, if you do want to talk about it. Uh, talk about it and chat in the Discord, and we'll we'll set aside a tab for that. But that's uh, getting slightly ahead of ourselves. First things first, just DM me on the Discord if you're interested. If you aren't involved in the Discord or on the EBBG, um, that's the Epic Beard Biker Gang Discord, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment down below on the YouTube channel, or if you know me IRL, you can text me, call me. Basically, any way that you can reach me, feel free to reach me, and I will work with you and direct you to the to the right place where we can start to look at this content together. And to circle back to the book, um, as far as speculative release dates go, I'm not going to go with a, a liberal estimate, a hopeful estimate. I'm going to go with a conservative estimate and say it's probably another two years out. We're probably only at the halfway point. Um, and with my realization that I need to take time to work on YouTube and do live streams on occasion, um, that that's just something that's fundamentally important to me. And it's, you know, even if it's just more of a hobby type of thing, and it, it fills a different role in my heart than, uh, and in my life than uh, writing, you know, it's something that I need to make time for. And, and I'm just so convinced of that now after having live streamed yesterday and just feeling the way that I do and being like, I, this was missing. This was something important to me that was missing in my life. And it's back now. Um, so while I've been writing seven days a week for the past two years, I am going to dial that down a notch. Uh, I still want to keep pushing myself to write a lot and keep things moving forward. But with the date getting pushed back so far, I just need to be more realistic with myself. I need to make time for my social life. I need to make time for YouTube and live streaming. And I need to make time for myself. Um, so rather than pushing myself seven days a week, I'm going to be having Sundays kind of off as more of a flex day. I can kind of, if I just need the break, I can just take the break and, and do what I'm feeling. And, uh, you know, if I feel like writing, I'm going to write, of course, but uh, I'm going to give myself the option to take Sundays off and and work on whatever. And Saturdays are going to be more focused on YouTube, you know, live streaming in the evenings and then, you know, maybe doing some some editing, some YouTube writing, some of that stuff in the mornings. So um, that does slow the potential release date down by probably a good six months. But honestly, I'm OK with that. You know, this is this is a long big undertaking and I would rather live my life in the meantime and have the project come out a little bit later um, and, and let go of these unrealistic fantasies that I'm going to, you know, just come into the game and, and crush it super fast and get my first book published in like two or three years. It's just, it's not realistic and I need to let go of that and take a more realistic approach. And now that I've done that, I actually feel a lot better, even though the date has been pushed back yet again and I feel, ugh. Like, come on, dude. But it's, it really takes the weight off my shoulders, actually, which is nice. And I needed that. So uh, those are, those are the kind of the updates. Uh, again, if you want to join the beta reading group, uh, you can just, just hit me up and I will start to send you content and you can just kind of review it at your leisure, you know, um, and, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, look forward to live streams on Saturdays. And if that changes if it needs to be canceled on a particular Saturday or moved to a Friday or a Sunday. I'll let you guys know via a video, assuming that I know beforehand, you know, like if I, if I'm on my way home and my truck breaks down, that's going to be hard to <laughs> give you a heads up, but you know what I mean? Uh, so, so lots of good stuff. Um, just continuing to grow and move forward, mature, heal, and find what's important to me in life and achieve most importantly, just a greater degree of balance. And it's so good to reconnect with you guys. I love your faces. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to hanging out with you next Saturday. Beardheart.